The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Please like and subscribe to support our channel. Taking place in a Mississippi River town called St. Petersburg, Missouri, Tom Sawyer grows up with his half-brother Sid at their Aunt Polly's house. Tom is a sly and innovative kid. After skipping school and getting into a fight, he is forced to repaint the fence as punishment on Saturday. Tom quickly figures out to persuade friends to trade him things for the privilege of doing his work. He gets out of doing the work and uses these treasures to win a Bible at Sunday school. However, he gets embarrassed when he answers incorrectly that David and Goliath were the first disciples. Tom begins to fancy Becky Thatcher, a girl from school, and asks to get engaged. At first, she accepts until she learns this isn't Tom's first engagement. Later that night, Tom and Huckleberry Finn, the son of the town drunk, go to the graveyard to try out a supposed cure for warts. While there, they witness Native American half-breed, Injun Joe, murder Dr. Robinson. Tom and Huck run away and swear to never tell anyone what they saw. The next day, Injun Joe blames the murder on Muff Potter, a drunk. Potter is unjustly arrested. Tom begins to work. Tom, Huck, and Joe Harper run away to an island to become pirates. While away on the island, they realize people are searching the river for their bodies. Tom sneaks home and sees the grief of his loved one, thinking that they're dead. He has the idea to show up at his own funeral and surprise everyone. He convinces Huck and Joe to do the same. At the funeral, everyone is ecstatic when they arrive and they all celebrate. Later, at school, Becky rips a book and Tom takes the blame, winning her admiration back. Quickly, Tom is stuck with grief when Muff Potter's trial begins. Tom, consumed with guilt, testifies against Injun Joe. Potter is acquitted. Injun Joe flees the courtroom through a window. Summer comes and Tom and Huck go to look for buried treasure at an abandoned house. Taking a break from digging, the two venture upstairs. While upstairs, they hear two men enter. To their surprise, it is Injun Joe in disguise and another man. The two came to hide their own treasure. Tom and Huck watch in hiding and are excited to redig their treasure once they leave. As the two men dig a hole to hide their own treasure, they find another box of gold. They also notice Tom and Huck's tools and decide to take their newfound treasures with them. Huck begins to follow Injun Joe every night. Tom goes on a picnic with Becky. While Tom is at the picnic, Huck sees Injun Joe and his partner with the gold. He also overhears their plan to attack Widow Douglas. Huck calls for help and stops the attack, becoming an anonymous hero. Tom and Becky get lost in the cave they were picnicking in. The next day, the town begins to look for them, but without success. As Tom looks for an exit, he sees Injun Joe hiding out in the cave. Eventually, Tom finds a way out with Becky. Becky's father, Judge Thatcher, locks the cave and Injun Joe starves to death inside. A week later, Tom and Huck return to the cave and get the gold. They invest the money and Widow Douglas adopts Huck. Huck runs away, but Tom promises he can be part of his robber gang.